KG team where we are discussing all things tech and not only. Our today's guest is Hussein Kanji and we are talking about the future of venture capital and finance. Thank you for joining us, Hussein. Thank you for having me. Hussein Kanji is one of the most prominent venture capitalist investors in Western Europe and a partner at Hoxton Ventures. Currently, everyone is associating East London with tech, creativity, and entrepreneurship. Not many people, however, know that Hussein Kanji was one of the first to recommend uh, the UK government uh, making shortage and East London in general the tech capital of UK as well as probably all Western Europe as it stands now. Hussein, if I was in your place, I would probably make sure that I have invested in real estate right when the UK government set on the idea of the tech hub. Did you? Unfortunately not. Most of our money sits inside of our own fund and our own fund does venture investing. But a lot of people actually made quite a bit of money the minute Silicon Roundabout mm -hmm. became a term. People, real estate developers actually bought property in that area and the last 10 or 15 years have been great for them because that area has actually developed quite a bit. Um, well, that's for sure. I think the price has skyrocketed like twice or so. Yeah, rumor has it, I think Red Church Street, uh, yeah. which is in Shoreditch, I think Louis Vuitton has bought that entire street, which is one of the reasons why they're all boutiques on that street now. Oh. So, we can, um, we can read uh, about Hoxton Ventures and Hussein all we want on the internet, as well as research what venture capital is. But I think it would be very interesting to learn uh, firsthand from you, Hussein, what got you into VC in the first place and how did you manage to become a success in such a competitive industry? Um, so VC was an entirely accidental career. I moved to London and I got a call from a venture firm here that's a very good venture firm, probably one of the best in the UK, uh, Axel Partners, it's a US firm. Um, and they created a job for me uh, when I was when I was still in business school, uh, and so I got to learn the venture business from really one of the best firms in the world. And then I left to go set up my own firm. When I set up my own firm, there were very few venture people in the UK, and very few venture people uh, who wanted to invest into Europe. So, like with most things, being at the right place at the right time is a key to success. We were just kind of in the right place at the right time, just as the industry here took off. Did you have some kind of perfect background for them? Were you studying something similar? Uh, I knew I knew of them and they had, uh, a long time ago we had, I had a good discussion with the Excel guys when I was doing the startup and so someone I knew connected me to the partnership here and these things are all relationships and they're relationships over the long term so they kind of knew of me, I helped them out on something and I helped out on something else and then they said why don't we just create a job for you and that's kind of what happened. That's how this industry works, it's, uh, it's people who do favors for each other and then over a long career they kind of make money with each other uh, you know, over, over the duration of their career. It doesn't happen as much in the UK but that's kind of how Silicon Valley works.